When it comes to starting your own dropshipping business, we all pretty much know at this point that one of the most tedious things that you need to do is actually create your own Shopify store or your own store where people are going to go in and make their purchases. The reason for this is because not everyone is very technically inclined to creating one. Not that Shopify makes it hard. Shopify makes it super easy, but there's a lot of aspects in it, like making sure that your branding is coherent, like making sure your colors all match, the accents look good against, you know, the background, the logo looks good. All of these different aspects are things that a lot of people aren't very good at. And the reason I say this is because I'm very bad at designing. It's hard for me to match colors. It's just not something that I'm good at. But luckily, there's services out there that can pretty much get rid of this entire first step for you. There's places where you can purchase pre-made dropshipping stores, and there's also multiple tools you can use at your disposal to skip this entire process, or at least facilitate it and make it a lot easier. So because of that, Today's video is gonna focus on some of the best tools that you can use and some of the best services that you can use for pre-built Shopify dropshipping stores. Now, before we go ahead and get started, what exactly is a pre-built dropshipping store? Well, simply put, a pre-built dropshipping store is a dropshipping store typically on Shopify, but there, you can also get one from any other marketplace, like let's say eBay, but it's basically a store that you're gonna purchase that's already set up. All you have to do is sign in and start fulfilling orders or start updating it with more products. It's a ready to go store, but there are three, I guess you can call sub variations to them. And these are what they are. So the first one is gonna be your turnkey dropshipping store. A turnkey dropshipping store is a ready to use website. So it's already gonna have the entire theme laid out. It's gonna be preloaded with all of your different images and your pictures and even preloaded with dropshipping products. The shopping cart should be ready to go. You should already be ready to accept payments. Everything is ready. You don't have to do absolutely anything if you don't want to. Everything should be working from the time you receive that store. But besides that, you also have brand new pre-made dropshipping stores where these are gonna be a bit more customized to what you wanna do or to how you want it to be. These can also have a custom domain name, so you can have www.mystore.com already ready to go for you. Typically, these are also gonna be ready to go, but you're gonna be able to work with the seller or the creator of the Shopify store to get it a bit more customized to your liking. And the other one is gonna be an already made dropshipping store where you're gonna purchase a store that's already making sales. So you don't even need to start marketing it. You can just continue doing whatever was working before and continue making those same sales. Now buying versus making your own. What are some of the pros to pre-made dropshipping stores? Well, for one, you're gonna save a lot of time. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry about creating the store, which does tend to take quite a good amount of time. It can take anywhere from a few hours to a few days, depending on how complex the store is. So that entire first step is completely cut out. Pre-built Shopify stores are also ready to launch business models. So these business models are ready to go. Again, saving you time and a lot of effort that you can reinvest into a different aspect of your business. Most of the time, these stores are also gonna come pre-loaded with different dropshipping products. Dropshipping products that, for the most part, are also gonna be handpicked based on current market trends. So you can also skip a bit of the product research at the beginning and just jump straight into the action. And really, overall, you have a more simplified process at the beginning. Because you're not having to worry about creating the store, the beginning process of your entire dropshipping journey, it's, it's gonna be a lot more simplified overall. But even though it does have a lot of pros, there's also a few cons that you need to consider. Like for one, you're gonna have higher upfront costs. When you're dropshipping, you typically don't have upfront costs except for purchasing the product whenever somebody places an order in your store. But if you're going with a pre-made dropshipping store, sometimes you are gonna have to have a bit of a budget to be able to actually purchase that store. So that's one thing that you're gonna need to consider. And this is something that's gonna vary from store to store or from the source of your store as well. Besides that, some of the different stores they're a bit harder to customize. A lot of them aren't even gonna be able to be customized because they're hard-coded into the Shopify theme. So a lot of the times whenever somebody creates a dropshipping store and sells it, they're not gonna create it using one of the themes. Instead, they're actually gonna code the entire thing, which makes it a lot harder to customize to your liking. Not saying that it's not possible, but it does make it a bit more tedious down the long run. So what are some of the best sources for you to start getting your pre-made dropshipping stores? Well, for one, we're gonna have AutoDS. 
Now, before we continue with this, just so you all know, I'm also going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet with all of the different stores or marketplaces that I'm going to be talking about in today's video, all of the tools and all of the links. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment the hashtag down below pre-built store and let me know what your takeaways from this video. When I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. So really quick, if you haven't joined AutoDS or if you're on the fence of getting started with us, then you can check us out for two weeks for $1 for your trial period. And once you do that, and once you're signed on, you can gain access to the AI store builder. So check this out. Through AutoDS, you can create your own online store with AI. So all you have to do is once you sign up, simply go up here and click on your store name. Then you're going to click on add store. If you don't have a store connected just yet, then all you're going to see is add store on the top. And then you're going to choose this option over here, Shopify store and continue. Then you're going to choose the middle option, which is to use an AI generated pre-built Shopify store. And then you're going to choose your niche. Now, this is going to be very dependent on you. My suggestion, go with a niche that you're passionate about, something that you know, because this is going to make it a lot easier for you to choose the right products in that niche, products that people are actually going to be interested in. So for now, we're going to go with sports and fitness. And let's go ahead and click on next. And that's it. AI is now building our store for us. Once that's ready to go, we're going to get our login information, which is this right here. Then we're going to go over to Shopify, go ahead and log in. We're going to use the details that were given to us. And then once that's ready to go, all you have to do is select your plan and then you can check out your online store. So this is our health and fitness store or our sports and fitness store. And as you can see, it's already preloaded with winning dropshipping products, all from our handpicked product section. It has relevant banners. It has a logo built in already. It has some reviews. And my favorite, it has all of the policy pages already ready to go. So as you can see, it's super easy and it skips the entire beginning step of having to build your own store. Now, if you want a bit more information or a bit more in-depth information on this service, then you can check out this video right here where I talk about the entire thing and walk you through step by step. But as you saw, a few of the different features that you get with an AutoDS pre-built store is going to be for one, a few different niches that you can choose from. So these are the most popular niches currently out, which you can take advantage of right now through the AI Shopify store builder. Two, you have handpicked winning products. All of these winning products that we include in the AutoDS pre-built store, they're all handpicked by expert dropshippers. They all have a specific criteria that needs to be met and are all guaranteed to either be currently trending or have been trending in the past few months. They're all currently best sellers. The product pages are also conversion focused, so they're easy on the eyes for the customers and it makes it easy for them to simply just go on and make a purchase. Besides that, you also have expert support. So if you ever have any issues with anything on here, if you need help, maybe customizing some of the aspects, you can reach out to support and they'll help you out. And last but not least, you also have automatic price optimization. So if you ever have any issues where let's say your supplier, if they increase their prices, your prices will increase as well. We also have an automatic price tracker that can help you out with this. So that way you never miss out on a sale or lose out on any profits. Next, we have buildyourstore.ai. Now, buildyourstore.ai is another completely free Shopify AI generator, except you don't have to have a subscription for anything, not even AutoDS. What you will have to do, however, is once your store is created, you are gonna have to select your plan with Shopify. If you want a bit more details on buildyourstore.ai, we have a video on that as well. You can check that out right here. But in short, buildyourstore.ai gives you, generally speaking, a similar store to the one that I just showed you through the AutoDS website, but they are structured a little bit differently and the steps are a bit different as well. So through Build Your Store, you are gonna be doing everything through their website and you're gonna be jumping back and forth from their website to Shopify every once in a while to get everything going. Now, there are a few things that you are gonna to have to do. There's gonna be a few steps that you're gonna to have to take and you're gonna to have to be pretty careful with, but if you check out our video, I walk you through everything step by step, making it as easy as possible for you to go ahead and get your store created. And honestly, it's not that hard, it's super easy. But buildyourstore.ai also does come with 10 handpicked products that are, again, chosen by expert dropshippers and are proven to convert. Besides that, it also has a high converting theme. So everything on these different themes, depending on the niche that you choose, they're gonna be high converting. Everything is gonna look good, everything's gonna be coherent, and it's gonna be customer focused. Besides that, you also have 24 seven support and access to premium apps as well as sales badges. Next up, we have two different platforms actually, but they work kind of similarly and that's Fiverr as well as Upwork. So through these two websites on Fiverr and on Upwork, you're going to be working with freelancers, freelancers that are going to get everything that you need and they're going to take everything that you want into consideration when making your pre-built Shopify store. Now, one thing that is very important to note about using Fiverr or Upwork 
is that you are gonna have to have a higher budget. When you work with freelancers, while it is gonna be cheaper to work with somebody from Fiverr than a, let's say a local web developer, it's still gonna have upfront costs. You are still gonna have to have a budget and I suggest starting with maybe one to about $250 just to get started. But the good thing about working with these different freelancers is that a lot of them are open to negotiating the budget. Depending on the features that you need, it really can affect the budget and the overall price. So my suggestion to you would be to, yes, yeah, set aside a few hundred dollars just in case, but also reach out to them, reach out to these different freelancers and see what their rates are. See what they'll charge you for your specific needs because everybody's needs are gonna be different. Next up, we have Flippa, where you can buy and sell online businesses. So on Flippa, there's gonna be people that list their Shopify stores or their different types of businesses for sale. They can either sell them at a fixed price or it can be auction based. So the winning bidder will get the store. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to Flippa, it's kind of like eBay. So if you're bidding on a store, you're not necessarily sure if it's going to be converting. You don't know if it's going to be any good. You don't know if you're going to have the proper support afterwards. So this is something that you do need to be a bit wary about and always make sure that you do your proper research. Make sure you check out the different sellers on the platform and just overall be a bit careful when going through certain websites like this. Not saying that they're not reputable and that you're gonna have problems, but it's always good to be mindful. Now for those people that are selling their products on there or selling their services or their stores, there's listing fees. So there's gonna be listing fees associated to each order, which in turn can increase the price for you. So in order to be able to offset that price, the sellers typically pass it on to the customers by adding it to their base price. The good thing is that Flippa also has good customer support and sales support. So if there's ever any issues after you purchase a store or a business, you can reach out to them and they'll help you out. They'll make sure that everything gets straightened out. Next up, we have Brandify, where you can source completely made Shopify stores. They also come with preloaded winning products. Aside from that, they actually also offer a service that not a lot of other services offer, and that's going to be help creating your logo. So if you're starting your own business and you've done some research about how you need to brand, you know the importance of creating your own logo to be able to stand out and gain customer trust. So this is something that's very helpful that they help you out with. And also something that a lot of people don't know how to do because creating a logo can be pretty complicated. Cool company needs a cool logo. Another thing they have that's really cool is Facebook and WhatsApp integrated messages. So you have access to be able to message your customers through either Facebook or WhatsApp if you choose to do so, which in turn adds to the overall experience of your customers. And last but not least, another really cool feature is that they have auto currency switching. So let's say you're drop shipping in the US, but you're located in, I don't know, the UK. It'll automatically convert all the currencies to USD. Besides that, we also have ad seller. Now, ad seller not only helps you create your Shopify stores, but they also help you with a few other options if you choose as well. Like for one, UGC content. And if you're in dropshipping and you know about content marketing, then you know how important it is to use social media to your advantage, specifically by creating content. If you're not selling on social media, like let's say TikTok or on Instagram Reels, then you're missing out on a massive demographic of people. And on top of that, they also help you with ad management, which is actually a pretty cool feature because not a lot of people understand ads. Now, the suppliers that they work with are also very, very efficient. Most of them have about a seven day shipping window. So that way you can make sure that your customers are always going to receive their products on time. And last but not least, they also have SEO optimization, which really helps in terms of being able to get in front of the eyes of people or brand new customers through Google searches organically. Then we have Ecom NC. Now on Ecom NC, I think that's how you pronounce it. You have access to pre-built Shopify stores and different types of e-commerce stores. So you're not limited to just Shopify. Now, similar to AutoDS, they also have automation features. These features are integrated into the store for a seamless operation and enhanced efficiency. Of course, you also have round the clock support, your own custom Shopify theme or your own custom e-commerce theme and tailored solutions for exactly what you need. So if there's anything in particular that you want added to your stores, you can reach out to them and they can help you out with that. Now, for the most part on e and see what you're going to have is access to different stores that you're simply just going to be able to buy and start using. So most of these are going to be pre-built, but if you do need some customization options, you can reach out to them and see how they can help you out. And last but not least, we have drop build. Now, Drop Build specializes on building complete Shopify stores that are ready to go right off the bat or as soon as you gain access. Now, one cool thing about Drop Build is the fact that if you're not sure what niche to go with, they'll help you out in choosing the right niche for you. So they'll help you out with the product research and with the niche research. So that way you make sure that the store that you get is the right one for you. Remember, like I mentioned at the beginning, when choosing your niche, always go for one that you know about and one that you're passionate about. So they'll help you choose which one will be right for you. 
Besides that, they also have high conversion video ads and social content. So that way you can start marketing your products as well. Or you can simply gain inspiration to make your own content marketing through those. Now, just a couple of tips for success. For one, always make sure that you keep marketing your products. Always keep marketing, marketing, marketing. Make sure you're posting on social media, you're running ads, you're creating different blog articles. For example, if you're doing content marketing in terms of videos and articles, you can create a pain point and use your products as a solution. Always market your products, never stop, because if you stop, you're never gonna get any more sales. People aren't gonna know that your products are there. Also, like I said at the very beginning and I mentioned earlier, know your niche. Make sure that you choose a niche that you're passionate about so that way you know what products will actually be effective or useful for that particular demographic. Now, this third tip is gonna be one that I cannot stress enough, and that is always make sure you have good customer service no matter what. Even if your customers are rude, be good, be kind, be courteous. Also, when choosing your suppliers, or when choosing different suppliers to import more products to your store, make sure that they also have good customer service as well because our customer service is gonna be a reflection of theirs. If you don't have the answers to a particular question that your customer is asking, you're gonna to have to reach out to your supplier. And if they don't get back to you maybe for a week, then you're not gonna be able to get back to your customer and you're gonna have a lost sale or even worse, a lost customer. Besides that, always monitor your website performance. So if you notice that people are jumping onto your website, but they're never making a sale, they reach the checkout, but they never actually check out, then try to check why. Try to go into your checkout, try to mimic the checkout yourself and see if there's anything on there that you can spot that could be stopping your customers from reaching that final destination of checking out. A lot of the times it could be something as simple as, let's say, a bad shipping method, or you don't have the right region selected on Shopify in order for you to ship to them. Little things like this can prevent you from getting pretty much any sales to begin with. And last but not least, don't settle and just always keep adding more and more products, specifically in your niche, of course. Don't add random products unless you have a general store. But if you have your own niche store, keep adding more and more products because the ones that you have on there eventually can become stale, even though certain products can be evergreen. You always wanna keep adding more and more products to your store to bring in more and more customers and to just overall give your current customers more of a selection. Now, in order to do this, you can also use the AutoDS handpick product section to find some of the best products in your niche. Products that are proven to convert and proven best sellers. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, just go ahead and comment the hashtag prebuilt store and let me know what your takeaways from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Also in the description down below, there's gonna be a link to a relevant article so you can learn a little bit more in details of everything that I talked about in today's video. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Please, if you're still here, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.